never given much thought to how I would die. I mean, I'm only 17, you know? I've got, like, my whole life ahead of me and stuff. At least that's what my therapist says every week. I'm, like, so totally whatever anyway. But, like, dying in the place of someone I love would totally be a good way to go, right? Love is, like, totally like that. I know, like, all about love. So anyway, guess what? I just moved to, like, this little town in Washington called Sporks. Like, how totally cute is that? I know, right? Anyway, that's where I am right now. things I was absolutely positive. One, the sky is totally gorgeous. Two, there was a part of me that never wanted to know anything about him because it might spoil the preconceived fantasy I have of him in my head. And three, I was failing unconditionally and irrevocably at Algebra 2. This is Dusk. It's the most amazing novel I have ever read. The characters are so realistic and deep, and it's completely original. Well, like, I guess the premise is a little cliche. Girl falls in love with vampire, but it's so original anyway. Edmund's all, I'm a monster. And Belle's all, but I love you. He's sweet and respectful and self-sacrificing. He's the kind of guy every girl on earth is looking for, and the way I imagine him is just like the boy I met at the store. That boy is my Edmund. Hey, you! Uh, oh, come on, she saw me. Davin, is she one of us? No, she's mortal. Davin, she's not one of us! Hey, I haven't seen you in a while, I was really worried. You realize this is the first real conversation we've ever had, right? Don't be silly. No, seriously. Don't disappear on me like that. You know, I never did catch your name the other night. I never threw it. This is Gavin. I'm Lydia, and that's my brother Lloyd. Hey. Thanks. Uh, so... Maria. Uh, Maria. What's, uh, going on? Um, I was actually wondering if you'd want to go to this thing with me. Oh, and oh, I, like... I just remembered. I, I forgot a bag inside. I'm, I'm going to go get it. So, Lydia, I have to know, does he talk about me? Oh, yeah. All the time. He's been talking about you for weeks. We met two days ago. Yeah, two days. It felt like weeks. That's how much he's been talking about you. He is so amazing and perfect. Getting to know each other? Yeah, we're getting to know each other. I don't know a dang thing. So, Gavin, about that thing. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if you'd want to go to LaPush Beach with me this weekend. I'd like to push you off a cliff. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, well, we're all going to be out of town. But maybe next time, huh? Next time! Yeah, 
Gavin. Uh, is that that weird pale kid that's lived here for years yet uh, no one knows him? That's the one, Dad. I'm in love with him. You've been here three days. You can't stop true love, Dad. He's gorgeous and charming and he'll always be there for me. <coughs> oh, okay, no, seriously. Where's the script? This is awful. So anyway, I'm going into the woods. I'll be fine. Don't freak out or sit out a search party or anything, okay? Sure. You're the boss. And what's that? Vampire. You're a vampire. A vampire? What makes you think that? Well, the teeth. But, but wait! No, your skin is so pale. And you're so ice cold. And I say, what's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. And, and you never eat, and you never drink, and you never go out in the sun, and you didn't go to the beach with me, jerk. And that makes me a vampire? Zombie? No. Werewolf? <laughs> no. Alien? No. Zombie? I'm a vampire, Maria. A real life blood sucking vampire. And if you don't leave me alone, I'm gonna snap your neck. Aw, you're just psychologically wounded from the drastic transition into this lifestyle. You remember Tom Harper? The pharmacist who died last week from natural causes? The natural causes me drinking his blood. Oh, so you were thirsty. It happens. If you don't leave me alone, I'm gonna drink yours too. You won't hurt me. You're different. Listen very closely. You don't know me. I'm designed to kill. And I don't discriminate. If you're around when I'm thirsty, I'm going to kill you. Oh, I'm not scared of Whoa. you. You really shouldn't have said that. Also, don't touch me. So, eternally young, blood-sucking, sun-sparkling vampire? Yes, you're finally... Wait, what was that last part? Sparkling in the sun? Okay, wh what the... Where, where would you... How... How would you... Who would... Okay, no, it's right here. His skin literally sparkled in the sunlight like thousands of tiny diamonds embedded in the surface. Okay, it's really gonna sting, but you need to see the truth. This is the skin of a killer. And that was just a few seconds. I don't wanna hear any of this sparkle business. That is one heck of a sunburn. I could just walk through the woods all day, not saying a word, because I'm with you. Perhaps you should try it. You know, Maria, there's no one around. I could change you, and we could live forever as vampire lovers. You're joking! This is just like in Dusk! This dull, clumsy girl who's yet brilliant and likable without having any distinct character traits falls in love with this self-loathing, gorgeous vampire who wants nothing more than to keep her safe! Maybe your dreams are coming true. Maybe I'm already dreaming. Maria, you're the most beautiful girl I have ever met. You're like my personal brand of... of crack cocaine. Let me turn you so we can live together forever. Thank mm -hmm. you.